Greetings, seekers of growth and personal development. Welcome to day number 91 of our 91 day personal development journey. This marks the end of our journey together. And whether you have just joined or you've been with us from the beginning, I want to thank you for being with me on this journey. It has been an incredible ride as well as a journey together with you. Now, I want to end this discussion and this challenge by basically going to a very special topic, which is to know what is enough. Now, my friend, before we dive in a little bit deeper, I want to clarify things here and perhaps explain what this means a little bit more. Now, what is enough for me will be different from what is enough for you, as it will be different to what is enough to the next person. Now, the way that I'd like to view this, my friend, is actually finding that balance is to find that sweet spot between more and less and not just too much or too less, but just what I need at the moment. And of course, that will be for whatever goals and plans I have for the future, for the time frame of my goals and bearing in mind that this will change as well as circumstances as conditions do change, this should now allow me to be flexible. Now, I wanna ask you a special question, my friend. What is enough for you? What is it that, or what is the measurement that is just right, not for anyone, not for your spouse, or maybe your friend, or maybe your parents, but for you, my friend, because discovering this will help you and of course accelerate your personal development journey now my friend i can tell you that i have actually been caught up in the past in wanting more and there's a saying from a book that i have read in the past that says more is less and less is more simply because the way that i understand it sometimes we are so preoccupied with wanting to accumulate more and more and more but then we end up chasing goals and dreams that we never reach simply because we do not have or find the sweet spot. Now, my friend, I want to remind you of something. You and I were born to be great. We were born to become the best version of ourselves. At least that's what I believe for myself. Now, from the time that we are born, we actually have a limited time that we are on this earth. Now, I want you to think about something. When the time comes for you to peacefully live this earth, what would you look behind and be proud of? Because I can tell you now, my friend, that you can either become the person that you were designed to be, which is the best version of yourself, or you don't. And I trust that during this journey, over these 91 days, I have provided the tools that will help you in this personal development journey. Now, my friend, this challenge I started just less than two years ago of actually repeating these 91 day cycles. And I can tell you that it has greatly, you know, improved the quality of my life. And in all areas of my life, like, like I've shared before, you know, such as my relationships, such as my mental, financial, social friends, and et cetera, et cetera. And I really want you to use this challenge, my friend. If you'd like to, you can go back and start all over again. And the trick is to actually practice and implement everything that we learn. And of course, I want to end this discussion, my friend, with wishing you the best. Now, this is not certainly the end of things. I've actually have something really exciting coming up in the next couple of weeks but I will not say it at the moment, but I really want you to really, you know, look out for it, my friend, because I still believe that it is something that will add value to your life. At least this is how I see it, because it is what has added value for myself in my own life. Now, my friend, I'd like to wish you the best in everything. And of course, use the tools and utilize them that I have shared with you to take you further to your goals. And basically, the last thing that I really want to say is good luck on everything. As we wrap up today's discussion, I'd like you to remember that what is enough for you will be different from what is enough from the next person. And basically, use this to find your sweet spot of what is enough 
for the moment and of course remain flexible and adaptable to change now if you found this video valuable please consider subscribing to my channel for more insights on these empowering topics and don't forget to leave your thoughts your experiences in the comments below because i'd love to hear about your journey this is Wendell Samba and signing off until the next one goodbye my friend